So we've got a few incredible starters and mains, but let's face it, everyone waits for the masterpiece, the dessert, and there's no one better than Darren Purchase to do incredible dessert. Trifle, a classic trifle, but when you're here, nothing's ever that simple, right? Oh, no, <laughs> look, I'm going to do a simple trifle, but I'm going to trick it up at the end. But you know, Simpler I'll... type trifle. <laughs> <laughs> look, you guys are going to be able to do this at home. So we're going to make a chocolate brownie, okay. and this is going to form the sponge layer of the trifle. We're going to do this by hand so everyone can see how simple it is. Butter and the sugar in the bowl. Mm -hmm. If you could pass me the salt as well. Put sure. a pinch of salt in there. Thank you. Salt makes everything taste better in baking. I'm going to give this a bit of a soften and we're going to try and cream this. Fabulous. And because it's Christmas, we want the best of everything. So we're not just using any chocolate. We're using a really nice, good quality yeah. Belgium chocolate. Yeah. And what we've done is just place the chocolate into a bowl and then over a pot of simmering water and just allowed it to gently melt into this liquid gold. <laughs> Isn't that the most delightful thing? I'm just going to try and get it a little bit fluffier. Yep. And then that melted chocolate is going to be next in. And then we're going to add the eggs. Right, so do we add them one at a time or they can just go straight in? I reckon we'd do one at a time, but we're not going to worry too much about it. Plain flour in there straight after that yep. and cocoa powder. Great. Both of them have been sieved. And then we're going to put it into our tin, pop yep. it in the oven, preheated 180. I reckon it'll take about an hour. And while that's cooking, I'll have to clean up the bowl. I'll wash it up, but I'll also have just a taste of that batter because I think it's going to be quite delicious. <laughs> melted that um, Calabout gold chocolate, which smells absolutely amazing. You've got that caramel. It's really great. <laughs> it is so good. <laughs> it's mesmerising, isn't it, it's, to see that. Yeah, it's lovely. The smell is just intense. I love it. So we've just boiled some cream, and we're just going to pour it on top of that chocolate. Maybe if you give it a stir, Jazzy. Sure now we're going to add some cold cream. Okay. It's going to cool the whole mixture down. We're going to be able to whisk this later, just like normal cream. It's absolutely amazing. How many layers is going to be in your truffle? Well, we've got um, chocolate brownie, a gold caramel chocolate cream, um, and we've got a sabion, which sabion. is going to go on top. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, Jazzy, how about mm -hmm. you put that in the fridge? Sure can do. And I'll get to work on the sabion. Great. Daz. I've got some egg yolks in here and I've Great. got some sugar. For a champagne savion, can you crack open a bottle, please? Don't be worried. <laughs> I've done this a few times. Woo! Ooh. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. All right. So I reckon about a glass. <laughs> right. Pop this over a bowl of simmering water. <laughs> so I'm just going to whisk this till it gets thick and pale. Yep. And then we'll take it off, add in some cream. This is the fun part. Yep. We've got all our elements together. The brownies come out of the oven cooled completely. Yep, I reckon get those cherries in. So we've Great. made some cherries in vanilla syrup. Just keep a little bit of syrup because we're going to make the brownie cherry syrupy. Yeah. <laughs> if that's a word. We're going to cut this brownie. We're going to try and get two discs for layers inside our trifle. Oh, that is super moist. Oh, that's such a nice brownie. Yep. So next layer is cream. Pass me that cream. gold cream. I think you've had a bit out of there, haven't you? Just, just, just a teaspoon. <laughs> so we're just going to free form. Chocolate brownie. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> so we're just going to slide that on there. Right, that's in. Juzzy, get some of that cherry juice and just that and a bit of the drizzle. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> that's so good. It's coming together. That's great. So then we're going to continue layering caramel cream, brownie, caramel cream, and then sabion, and then finish. That's it. Fabulous. All right, let's get to work. All right. <laughs> so remember the sabion we yes, made, which yep. is Oh, it's just so luxurious. Mm. It's got that champagne inside mm. because it's a celebration. 
to put a little extra in there. Yeah, I saw that actually. <laughs> <laughs> There's just something quite whimsical when you see the layers come together yeah. and make that ripple effect. Yeah. Anyone can make a trifle, so simple. Yep. And especially with decoration as well. You know, yes. I brought some fancy stuff here. Oh, you have you indeed. You can just put whatever you want on top. Yeah, like Dad says, just anyone can just make this beautiful bauble out of chocolate. <laughs> they are chocolate, yeah, they're hollow. So kind of like an Easter egg, stick two halves together. Yeah. That is awesome. Great, I'm gonna put a green one on top. Mm -hmm. And then here's something I whipped up earlier. Because baubles just weren't <laughs> enough. <laughs> Got some chocolate shards here. Wow. Really dramatic, you can put some of them. They're little holly leaves little made out of chocolate as well. So everything is edible. I've dipped some cherries, I pitted them first. Make sure that um, no one breaks their teeth. And look at um, the Christmas trees. I yeah. Too. You could even put some fresh cherries on for a bit of a contrast. Daz, you've completely outdone yourself as usual. That is not your average trifle. I can't wait to dig into that. We're going to place it in the fridge for an hour, then we'll serve it.